Hey, right, so we Volkswagen Polo, we know it's no drive, I've just pushed it onto the ramp. Tires we about one, it's not too bad, as we about one. Sax shocks, probably original. Uh, look good. Oh, jeez, man, this uh, obviously is needing a bit of attention. That's uh, well, look at the repair that they've done there. Eh? <laughs> so, there you go, the first repair's broke, we'll put another one in it. There you go, but it basically needs a whole exhaust system, eh? So, you see how rotten it is. Hey, obviously, you know the back bit's broken. Rotten, 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 rotten. Flexi isn't even connected anymore. So that is not flexi. Uh, something leaking through the top there. So there's something leaking up the top. That, I would just advise changing that immediately. That one's not too bad. That one needs done immediately, so. Definitely. Um, bottom arms, condition of those. Yep, absolutely knackered. Same as the wee up we've just did. Absolutely knackered. So it needs two bottom arms. It's not going to be long until it needs a sump. Obviously, the clutch, uh, the brakes good. Look to be good. So, right, so there we go. We know the gearbox is connected from that side to that side. So, yeah, I think we just need to crack on. So it needs tyres, two suspension arms, and exhaust. The whole thing, basically. So obviously, that tyre, that one needs done as well, eh? So it could really be doing with four tyres. I've not found any play in the wheel bearings, pins, bushes, or ball joints. However, that shock absorber is absolutely gone. Uh, and it's been leaking for a long time, so... And there's no way I would take it apart and put that spring back on it, which is original, but it looks it. So it's got the dots on it, so as we can match it, so... There you go, so there is, other than the clutch, there's a few wee bits needing done on this car, so we'll speak to the customer, see what they want to do. Right, on to the next bag, group one. So, another Polo, looks like he's got a new O2 sensor in there. Um, so, it's a slightly different gearbox. Uh, so, I'm thinking this one should be a bit easier. There's definitely a lot more room underneath there, so, yeah, I'm hoping this one's a bit easier, man. So, thanks for watching, haven't already. Hit that like button, hit that subscribe button. Check us out in this next video, which will be a Volkswagen Polo. Party people, we are on to another clutch. Another Volkswagen clutch. There's a Volkswagen turbo down there. Uh, so, we run a little Polo. Um, a report of... Yeah, it's got no drive, but it's had a report of a clutch being done a year ago. Possibly, I can see down there. That bolt in there, that one you can see right here, is not all the way home. So, for whatever reason, maybe the wrong bolt in there or something, or they're just not tightened it up, so... Uh, I think that one's all the way home. That one's definitely sticking out down there. So I've taken the battery out of the airbox, battery tray, the battery's on charge. It was charged, just a precaution. Uh, stick it on charge, so... Lots to do, lots to do on this one. Still underway, so it looks like a very similar gearbox. Looks like that's the gearbox filler down there. So we'll need to fill the gearbox from there. Um, so, let me get the gearbox out of it and see... Excuse me, too much coffee today. Uh, so I need to get the gearbox out to basically see what's going on. Cars need a whole load of other bits, suspension arms. Uh, two front springs aren't broken. Uh, however, one shock is leaking really badly uh, to the point where it failed the MOT. The other one is just starting to leak, but the springs all corroded as well. So it needs two arms, full exhaust basically. Could be doing with all the tyres getting done. So I've already spoken to the customer and they said crack on with the clutch. Um, so we'll crack on with this and we've got my coat for the rest of the bits there. Uh, so it's just unfortunate, it's snowballed on itself, you know, if you'd have chipped away at it, chipped away at it, uh, it'd still be in relatively good condition, but uh, it's now got to the stage where it needs two arms, two springs, two struts, uh, a clutch, four tyres, a full exhaust, so uh, not so good for a little polo. Alrighty, so we've got the starter out it, and we've got the sleeve out it, and it's 100% in a clutch, man, there's dust everywhere. Uh, look down in there, I can only get that out to there. Unless that bolt's going to come out now, but I don't know if I've got it, I don't think it'll come out. So, if we look in, yes, it's full of horse hair in here, so it's not horse hair, it's furrowed or whatever that material is now that they use for the clutches. It's not asbestos anymore, but it's definitely a nasty, nasty material. Uh, certainly, I'm going to be itchy tonight by the sounds of it, so I just kind of get the start motor to come right out. Kind of get past this gear selector, so it should be okay just to leave it in place. 
to be honest with you, it should be. Uh, you need to dismantle all that gear selector, so I think I'll just leave it you know, sat there, the bolts out, so shouldn't cause any issues. Uh, and we'll crack on, get the lift up, we'll get the wheels, drive shafts, or the jazz underneath off it. Aye, uh, hopefully there's no dramas, but aye, uh, it's, uh, it's coming apart, not too bad, and it should because it's been apart before, so that uh, honestly, you don't you don't know what other people have did. I'm not, blaming, I'm not saying any other mechanics are inferior to myself, but they are. Uh, so, <laughs> no, I mean, we're only humans, so obviously we've seen that bolt was not the way home, but it wasn't across either end, it's just been missed, it's easy done to be honest with you, so but you should double check, but it, it can happen. Only human, that's it, only human beings at the end of the day, so mistakes happen, you know, you'll never take the human element out of things, so uh, until we get robots. Righty ho, party people, we have gearboxing oil out it, both drive shafts, the passenger side one, just a little short one there, that was no end of grief. Uh, we have to go into another tool, basically this one, uh, and make sure it was chapped right in. Not sure if the previous person that's had it off has maybe just been a bit overzealous with a gun, uh, but the teeth are stripped a wee bit on the, the splines and the bolt. Uh, however, to get these gearboxes out on most of the Volkswagens, you need this offside coupling off. So there's one Allen key bolt in the middle of it. So you take the drive shaft off, unbolt it, and then you need that coupling out. Now you need that coupling out because if you see there, with that coupling in, there's a metal plate up in there, right? So, and if you don't take the metal coupling out, then you won't get the gearbox out. You'll basically be caught on that plate and you'll be bending it and bending it and bending it. Most probably eventually you get it out, but you're going to have destroyed it basically in the process. That's not the issue I have. So obviously I've taken that out because I know about this. So I've taken this bit out and as I pulled it off, uh, some falling on the floor, so you can see that is a big spring in there, right? Uh, so that's a big spring in there, that's the bolt you've heard there, but a bit hit the floor and you can just see it there, so there's a bit there, that fell off onto the floor, so the rest it looks like it can of come out of there, but it's obviously, it's tapered as well, that, so it's obviously to locate that gearbox uh, shaft not perfectly the way it should be basically uh, so I'm going to see about getting a new coupling for this uh, because if I put that back in and that does that and comes adrift and goes inside the gearbox or this other bit breaks up some more and comes off then we're knackered so I need to query this to be honest with you but it definitely looks like it's broke to me so but yeah it just fell on the floor basically so we need to crack on there, there's not much left to do at all on it to be honest with you, so obviously we know the starters out, everything's off up the top, slaves off, uh, gear cables are off, so we've really got the mount, that bolt there, these ones will need to stay in here because they hit the exhaust, that one needs screwed out a little bit further, um, and we've got one up the back there to get out and then that's it really, but obviously we've now encountered that coupling is broken, so uh, I don't expect the customer, I'm not comfortable putting it back together with that like that. Um, aye, that's probably going to tie up my ramp again. God damn you, god damn. Hey, got a big boom on, supported, should take the weight of that to be honest with you. Um, i hold off a big six cylinder beamer last time it was in use, so it should be okay for that. Um, I'll load it then a wee bit more, I'll start taking that bolt out there, so when you get that uh, mounting off it, obviously we know about the bit of the gearbox uh, drive shaft coupling, nothing we can do, so we'll just need to uh, see if we can get it, I'm waiting on an email coming from TPS, honestly I think the guy's got my email address wrong, but because it's still not coming through, yeah still nothing, so spam, anything in spam, Nothing in the spam, nothing yet in the inbox, so I did ask him to double check and he says, no, no, it takes a couple of minutes, so, yep, I shall phone them back. Right, so, it definitely got in the clutch, but well, it's very hard to say whether or not uh, it had a clutch last year or not. I was thinking it was going to be that that's caused it, but clearly not. So, if it has had a clutch last year, then it's just completely driver uh, error, unfortunately. Um, it is a wee bit tight when it gets to there, but it's going back, so... It's not like that Volkswagen up we just did, where that wouldn't go back at all. So, the bearing is turning, so... 
Right, I'll come back in a minute. We'll get the right tools, we'll get this clutch off. Right, so we're about to dive on the gun. So we're going to go with the Zeta Ratchet uh, and my phone for the camera at the moment because the snap-on torch is fried. The bat one battery's grubbed and uh, the other battery's dead. So we're going to have to go with the Zeta Ratchet. Right, so we're going to have to go with the Zeta Ratchet. We had a, a blown fuse the other day uh, and it turns out we've got a bad battery so we need to spend some more money. Snap on, good damn it! Right, well, we'll get see what's happening with it. Obviously we can see that that clutch is moored, but it's not the clutch I'm worried about, I'm worried about the flywheel. Let's see. Oh, they're good bathing, eh? I tell you, you got to do all this extra stuff. Okay. It will need some power steering pipes at some point. This time. Don't you move. It's well deep itself on. Don't tell snap on me, I wasn't using this as a lever. Honestly. Oh jeez. Oh Jesus Christ. Uh, been lucky enough. Been lucky it's... So, other side, <laughs> the cover side, thankfully, is millered at right. Jesus, man, look, the clutch is actually split there. So, that clutch, Jesus, I've never seen that before, man. I wonder if, see, when they've bolted it on, if they've not bolted it up evenly. I've never seen that. Anybody seen that? Comments below. And I was blaming the driver, but it might not actually be his fault. So, aye, that'll be right when they drive at all, because that's broken, no pressure on the plate. So, there you go, so, right. Flywheel. I'll just take a bit of heat, you can see look, that's all melted on it, so I'm going to clean all of that off. Um, but the actual flywheel is, it doesn't feel great, to be honest with you, but... I think you got to be reusing it. There's some little stress marks on it. And just a bit here. Yeah, a bit there. Doesn't feel great to be honest, but I'll need to do it. I'll need to do it. So obviously, I've got a new clutch to it, so I'll just keep it out. There's my not a lever again. Right, so I'm going to clean up that again. So that fits. So, 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 that coupling then at the token. So obviously that fits on there nice. We've checked that bit up there. Uh, however, I have ordered it because, and it's a good job I heard this by the way, so I, I don't often have a radio on because I don't have one. Um, plus if we're doing a load of YouTube filming and you've got radio playing in the background then comes up with copyright infringement and stuff like that. So I don't often have music on and I love music to be honest with you. Damn, bump my head. So, but I heard, I managed, because there was no music and the compressor wasn't going, I just heard something hitting the floor. So, and luckily there's two of these, so it must be really common. Two of these in stock at Volkswagen. So one's being delivered tomorrow. So I just don't fancy that. No, putting it back without that. See, I didn't notice, didn't hear it. And then the rest of this breaks up and it ends up inside the gearbox now. It does look like it shouldn't be able to get in there, right? Oh, so it does look like it shouldn't ever be able to get inside the gearbox, but there's a lot of bearings in there, um, and we don't want, yeah, we don't want anything going wrong, so ah, there you go. So it possibly did have a clutch last year, and it's either been drive or whatever. 
and that's got so hot that it's cracked and splat um, but although I don't see any blue tinge like on the flywheel a wee bit of it I don't know, it's hard to say what happened there, hard to say we know all of that all fits so we know we can put this back together uh, once we get that bit for TPS so there you go brass cone not on here like so and then it's just got that ring over it like I say it's a big spring this thing so that cone's just for locating uh, the shaft centrally I think Once the bolt tightens that up, I'll push all that in tight. So, what we've got left is one bottom arm, put the hub back on, drive shaft, battery, tyres, exhaust. Quite a bit to do still. Whoa. Not bad. <laughs> Not bad. Got a new cone there as well. Hey, don't do what I've done and you know, I'd also have to take the flex off it so it just shows you the condition of it. I've been bloody poked myself in the eye with that man. And that is rather sore, I tell you. So I've probably scratched all my eyelid. Uh, my lens, sorry, not my eyelid. Uh, it's rather painful, man. So, aye, fun and games, man. So, let see how this goes back on. Aye, aye, so I've put one strut on it. And uh, it is tight, but there seems to be a bit of play there. So, I, let me check the other side when I strip it to see. It's maybe the same. Uh, that one's not moving actually, so that doesn't seem to be left nothing down anyway, so I need to double check that other side before I go any further. Right, hey, right, that's better, it's just not tight enough, <laughs> so my bad. So I'll get that in the old bar like to put on, I'm going to put the drive shaft on while all of this is out the road. Uh, makes it a bit easier. Right, the hill, don't know what happened there. We have fixed the strut, put the arm on, need to tighten up the ball joint, need to tighten up that bolt as well. Um, ABS central wire and track the end, all that kind of stuff on this side. Gearbox is still kind of just hanging there to be honest with you, so now that that's in, I'll get all that side on. So we'll crack on now with the rest of it. So right, bit of a mission, bit of a mission, but we'll get there. Right, so there's what we're up to, gearbox back in, big stabilizers back off, we've got the gear cables bolted down, so gear cables on. That one's got to be clipped, I'll need to find it and see what I've done with that. Uh, this one just pushes on. There's no one to come to the back. Oh, there we go. It's been in gear. It's stuck in gear. So that one goes on there like that. We've obviously got the battery to go on. Uh, battery tray, air box. Need to put all the start of wire on it. Still get the drive shaft to do on the driver's side. Um, I had to buy a new torch battery, so I obviously poked myself in the eye with a bit of the exhaust. Dropped my torch, broke my torch. Wasn't good, so Snap One guy was kind enough to give me this uh, for £66. So uh, somebody had bought it and then disappeared on him. So uh, I like to just to have it because uh, I need it. <laughs> uh, to be honest with you, I'll need to look at upgrading my batteries. I think now the batteries are getting old, one of them was all leaking the gel come out of it, so not good. <laughs> uh, I think £100 something pounds plus VAT per battery. so Quite expensive, I think maybe it's said 160, I'm not sure, but I mean, it's lasted really long time, so I mean, you get what you pay for, I suppose, so if you pay good money, it should last a long time. So, one new tyre there, one new tyre there. You can hear that. There's a wee noise going on in there, it's probably just rust to be honest with you, so. Um, new back box, new middle pipe. That bit's just a pipe, then we've got our centre kind of silencer, if you like. New flexi, swapped over the sensor, there's a new gasket in there, but a lot of paste as well. New suspension arm, 
new shock, new spring. Um, yep, clips are in, ABS wires are back in. Right, that's on. Save again, ball joint spring. I'm going to straighten that wee plate up actually, it's got bent. Uh, it's just a guide, it doesn't do anything. Um, and obviously all this stuff's back on, ball joints are tight. Bolts are in and tight. Bolts are in and tight. So I haven't seems to be good. I have had that road test and made sure it was all good. So seems to be driving okay. So brakes are a wee bit noisy on it because it's sitting, but uh, we'll get it out another one and make sure it's okay. There you go. If you haven't already, had a thumb, hit subscribe, man. Uh, we're nearly at that first thousand. So go on, give us a give us a subscribe. You know you wanna.